Royal Family Live, Meghan takes hint and stays away, not popular with royals or public. Meghan Markle is unlikely to return to the UK for the Princess Diana statue unveiling next month, according to a royal expert who claimed Prince Harry's wife was not popular with the royals or the British public. Royal author Phil Dampier said he would not be surprised if Britons do not see the Duchess of Sussex for some time. He added the birth of her daughter provides Meghan with the perfect excuse not to attend the statue unveiling at Kensington Palace on July 1. Mr Dampier told The Sun, it wouldn't surprise me if we don't see Meghan for some time. I don't think she is popular with the royals or the public in the UK anymore and I think she will prefer to stay in California with her two young children. The birth of Lilibet gives her a perfect excuse not to come. It may be seen as a swipe at the royal family, but it will just be added to an already long list. The royal expert also warned that if Meghan did attend the statue unveiling it would turn into a circus. Mr Dampier said, in the unlikely event she did come, it would turn into a circus and detract from the point of the unveiling, which is to remember Diana. This is the best opportunity for William and Harry to repair their relationship, and it may be better for the brothers to sort things out between them on their own. Meghan and Harry, who are living in California after quitting royal duties last year, welcomed their baby Lilibet Lily Diana Mountbatten Windsor earlier this month. The unveiling of the statue in honor of Diana will be only the second time Harry has returned to the UK since Megshi. Eight thirty-five a.m. update: William and Harry handed best opportunity to mend broken relationship. Prince Harry and Prince William are facing the best opportunity to heal their rift, according to a royal expert. Brothers Harry and William could appear together in the sunken garden at Kensington Palace in two weeks' time to honour their mother's legacy. And their meeting would not just be pivotal for the celebrations of what would have been Princess Diana's 60th birthday but also for the brothers' relationship, according to royal commentator Phil Dampier. Arguing the absence of Meghan from the event could be beneficial for the Dukes of Sussex and Cambridge, Mr Dampier told The Sun, this is the best opportunity for William and Harry to repair their relationship, and it may be better for the brothers to sort things out between them on their own. Eight ten a.m. update, Kate and William, very upset over rift with Harry. Kate and Prince William are very upset over the feud with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, Lady Colin Campbell has said. Lady C told GB News Dan Wooten, well, my understanding is the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are really upset about the way things have gone down. They love Harry and they remember Harry as Harry was for the first 34 or whatever years of his life. This is a completely new Harry that everybody is dealing with. It's very sad for them and they're very upset about it.
7.45 a.m. update, Harry is devoted family man as Meghan gets back on her feet after birth. Prince Harry is committed to looking after his family as Meghan Markle gets back on her feet following the birth of their second child, a friend of the couple has claimed. The insider told Closer, the couple has been relaxing at home since becoming proud parents of Lilibet. Megan is already back on her feet and walking the dogs. The source added, Harry is a devoted family man and has been helping out around the house. He picks vegetables from the garden to make fresh juices for Megan and entertains Archie when she needs to rest up. He loves taking Archie to see the chickens or for a swim in the pool. Seven thirty a.m. update: Megan's book misses out on top fifty bestseller spot. Meghan Markle's mind-bogglingly bad The Bench has failed to make it into the UK's top 50 best-selling books. Expectations were high as the Duchess of Sussex put pen to paper in her new literary venture. The 40-page book is a love poem to a new father about the relationship he'll enjoy with his son, written from the perspective of the mother. However, the book failed to make a real impression among British readers, selling just 3,212 copies in its first week.